Hey gang, so the other day I showed you my whiteboard and how I record my pH and PPMs and now I thought I'd show you just a little bit about how I do it. Prior to that, Garden Buddy Pippi. Blue Pippi. And I think we have Bubba around here somewhere too. Hey Bubba. I, you could use any kind of monitors. I have a pH pen that I use. Um, I will tell you that this one's a, a little better. I'm going to be getting some probably Blue Lab or automated ones, I think. But if you buy the cheap ones, when you go to use them, you know, you have to keep them above this line here. This is, There's a seal. There's like a white seal in there. I don't know if you can see that very well. But it keeps the water from going up in here. And the cheaper ones have really crappy seals. So I've gone through a couple of those already. Not that you submerge them. But just if you lay them flat, I found those other ones get up in there. So anyways, pH pen. Uh, I do calibrate it uh, every week or so. So here, let's take a look. So you can see right now, well, it's picking up whatever's in there from before. All I do is put it in my water. And I'll try and get this so you can see it at least a little bit. Now that's pretty bad. <laughs> Well, okay, so there's a good shot of the, P, the pH. It's 7.3 and the water temperature is 70.7. .7. So again, I'm going to lower that pH down a little bit because that's too high for me. And overnight, they probably ate more nutrients and drank some of the water so it's more concentrated. There you go. So 7.5. So that's higher than I want it. And it may be, I'm going to check the PPMs next. Again, leave the covers on them or store them in a solution. You don't want the probes in the ends to dry out. So I'm going to turn this on. I have it for PPMs. You could set this for um, EC also. So we'll put that in there and see what happens. So it says 1131. So this one's pH really needs to be adjusted. It didn't eat as much of overnight as much of the nutrients as I'd like. So all I'm probably going to do is just drop the pH down a little bit using pH down. I rarely use pH up. I'd rather use just um, some tap water or something. So there you go. There you have it. The EC, like I said, measures. Let's see if I can hold that up. All right, and there you go. That's a, a pretty good shot of the PPM. And obviously as it settles around and I move it a little bit, it, it may go up and down a little bit. I'm really looking for this to be a little bit higher in this case. And that temperature says it's been sitting here a little longer, I guess, 68. So somewhere between 68 and 70, I would think this probably is closer to 70, but uh, this um, pen is okay. Again, I think, you know, it's one of the cheaper ones that I got off of Amazon and I do play, re, plan on replacing this one because I think it's pretty important. And again, just to show you, if you press here, you can switch to EC. So, yes. EC. Alrighty, there you go. Alrighty, oh, I should say, I take the water out with a syringe. This is a 60cc syringe. I happen to know that. It's worn off all of things. And then if I can't reach into the bucket, I'll use a piece of tubing just to pull it out. Alrighty, there you go. If you have any questions, let me know. Otherwise, peace out.